Hello, good morning, welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and we're starting a brand new week. So this is Monday Make. In the Facebook group this morning, I've put two pages. I've put this pinky collage page, and I've put this page that looks, well, looks like I've got a bit mad, really. Now, this came about because I was watching Roxy Creations Weekly Challenge, where she was doing the taps that were inspired by, oh, I can't remember, I think, oh, I don't want to say the wrong name, but anyway, she'd got inspiration from another maker and she was doing the tabs part of her weekly challenge. And I then moved on and was working with a file folder and I thought, do you know what, this would be ideal for anyone that doesn't have the American file folders, to have this template would be awesome, or well, at least I thought it would. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my page into a file folder so i'm going to fold it just short of half i hope you can see that it's about well just over half a centimeter quarter of an inch something like that and then having folded it i'm going to open it out and i am going to tear now it would make your life easier if you could print this on card but I am going to tear down here because you've basically got one, two, three different file folders on here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shorter side and I'm going to line my file folder up on the shorter side. And if you hold it up, you can see the paper underneath. If you're gonna struggle with that, then obviously just cut it out and then you won't have to look through. You can line it up. So just cut along the felt tip lines, which I cheated. I just drew round one of each of the file folders. like so okay now make sure because this is the lower one make sure you've got the lower page and obviously these are very long so you're going to need to decide whether you want you know your long tab on all of it or whether you want to bring it down and have it as it were cut off at the bottom now that's what I'm going to do for mine, okay? If you're struggling to hold it in place and draw around it, then uh, cut around it, then obviously you can very simply just take a pencil and draw round your template because you're going to cut that bit off, okay? So I'm going to cut it round simple as that and you have now got yourself a file folder okay and then if you take the other one that you um, just cut off so you've got a matching pair Obviously, you can do the other side of your file folder. And then you've got nicely shaped pieces to go on the edge of your pages. Alternatively, I'll show you in a minute another way of using these. So, <clears throat> obviously, I know it goes this way. So I need to line it right up at the top on the higher one and I'm just going to draw around there 
and draw around there. Okay, so I need it a little bit rounded. Okay, and then you're just going to want this one rounded like that, and then you're just going to come. All the way across there like that and you have got your file folder pages and they're already printed for you okay so that's one way of using it get rid of these pieces we don't need another way of using it is to lay it on your patterned paper because then what you can do is you can add whoops it helps if you can draw around your template which I'm not very good at obviously just draw around your template and then you could have these waiting in your stash and when you're making something appropriate you can then you can then stick this onto the edge of your page and then you would have the sticky out tab extra yeah so it's just an idea um Hopefully you'll get some kind of use out of it. If not, then obviously you don't have to print this one. You can just use the collage sheet to do with what you will. Have a great day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.